World Environment Day is a great occasion to ponder upon how we can make life around us healthier and sustainable. And as far as the auto industry is concerned, it's the time when all major stakeholders and policymakers gather to discuss the roadmap. Well, the Society of Indian Auto Manufacturers or SIAM as always is the flag bearer. Now the whole idea behind this summit is to put emphasis on correct stakeholders. Now that includes two mobility solutions. First is the conventional ICE powered, that's internal combustion engine powered or petrol or diesel vehicles. Already BS6 norms and RD norms are in place to keep that technology cleaner. When it comes to urban mobility solutions, we refer to alternative technologies like electric vehicles, fuel cell vehicles, CNG, ethanol, methanol among others. The idea is to prepare a good balance between both conventional and urban mobility solutions to get a very right balance in achieving that carbon neutrality goal of 2047 and exactly we are going to get an insight on this. Well, let's begin with what Niti Ayug has to say. For the first time, I am watching that this sector has come out with first is the motto that they are building the nation responsibly. That is something amazing. The second is that they have identified six pillars of sustainability in which one of them is sustainable mobility. But the very fact that now it is going beyond working as an interest group. So now it is committed to the nation taking it forward. And it is not only confined to you know a particular vehicle type or a particular company or just getting the incentives from the government. No, it is saying we are committed to sustainable mobility. Well, yes, it's always been a collaborative effort. Now let's hear what thoughts ARAI has. Uh, so year on year, the World Environment Day, we renew our commitment towards sustainability. So the importance of having alternative resources will continue to be there. We cannot say that uh, when the EV comes, it is go not going to be taken off or everything going to move out. The mix will continue to be there and there has to be, it has to be going to be a continuous evolution that will happen where the alternatives also will find its place. As we said, the idea has always been to make space for all technologies to coexist. From the automaker's side, let's hear what Hyundai India has to say. Not to mention the company has been very active in adopting new technologies, both globally and in India. We are now adopting various fuels, whether it is the traditional ice fuel or the electric vehicles or the CNG, or now we are talking of flex fuel vehicles. Very soon we are also talking of the hydrogen economy. As you know, that the National Green Hydrogen Mission has already been launched by the Honorable Prime Minister. So I think these are the exciting times for us to all invest rightfully into these technologies. And the government is also working very strongly to bring more and more guidelines and policies which can help the automobile industry to make a very meaningful decision into the future modes of investment. Well, the Korean car maker has a very clear focus. Finally, let's hear what viewpoint the tyre manufacturers have. After all, tyres play a crucial role as well in checking the rolling resistance and saving energy. Confidence is a very important from uh, an interaction and uh, networking perspective from uh, especially uh, experts across the world and India as well on environment. Uh, knowledge sharing sessions, key presentations uh, on key areas of maybe waste management could be related to sustainable material or alternate fuel. So all these uh, uh, knowledge sharing sessions are pretty important from a policy perspective. So yes, lots of discussion around alternative fuel technology, but the end goal has always been to achieve the carbon neutrality target. Yes, the idea is to make urban mobility solution cleaner and that's something which the Indian economy is driving towards.